Ty was mentioning the two a days he's been running the team through. And I guess how many times did that happen since you've been with the Clippers? It feels like it's a regular thing. And is that is that a tone being set by him? What's what's the goal of that? What's it like two a day practice? Yeah, yeah. I think playing two a day practice is a My first season, uh, more than second and third, but we've had a few. So, but I, I think I think T has done a great job of setting the tone and understanding um, what's expected of us, um, you know, from his position. So yes. I guess what's the because you guys only have three preseason games. What do you now in this stage of your career want to get out of this shortened preseason? Um, I'm in pretty good shape. I'm, I'm comfortable where I am. Um, going into the regular season. So I, I think a lot of us are just um, prepared to get it started um, with being in the bubble and all of that stuff and um, just taking that long break and then having, you know, eight games or whatever it was and then getting right to the playoffs. I think uh, mentally we're just ready to get the ball started and, and get going in the regular season. We'll keep it going. We'll move on to Tamir. Go ahead, Tamir. Okay, we'll keep moving on to Alm. Hey, Lou. Um, have you wondered or, or what has the season been like so far? I know it's only been two preseason games, but like with the whole health and safety protocols, how strange is it? And and to to and how unexpected could things be this season? Do you think? Because like we already see like Chauncey and. And uh, Reggie weren't on the bench today just for safety protocols. Do you wonder what this season, what's in store for you guys? Um, it's kind of the new norm. Uh, the safety protocols, they they continue to get updated every day um, with, with different things that they, they implement, um, a lot of small things. And so you just kind of, you kind of get used to it and get over it and just take care of yourself personally and, and just keep moving. So it is what it is. Thank you. Hey, we'll try to mayor again. You guys hear me? Yes. Go ahead, Tamir. Um, Lou, just curious, uh, how much do you feel like you need to maybe um, manage yourself throughout this season? I, I know you guys didn't do, do that last year, but is that something on your mind for this year? No, I've, I've never managed myself. You know, um, I've been in the league long enough. Uh, I was in the league pre-load management, and so that's how I was trained. That's how I was raised in this league. Um, and so, uh, personally, I don't think that's something that that, that happens. Um, from my standpoint, if that's something that the coaching staff or the training staff feels like I need to do, then um, I'll, 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 I'll let them lead, by, lead with that. But other than that, my personal opinion is, uh, no, I'm just going to play the 72 game season. Okay, we got time for one more. Um, then we're going to go to Coach Talu. Uh, next one, is, last one is going to go to Sabrina. Hey, Lou. Uh, it seems like you're going to get a lot more minutes with Zubach this year, the way the rotations are set up. Uh, why, what do you like about playing with him, and what have you seen him improve upon, you know, from last year? Zub is still learning, still growing as a player. He's still a young player. So I look forward to getting with him and make sure we get on that same page, just being a one-two punch. And, um, and, and not only Zub, I think the, the identity of the whole second unit looks different. Um, and so for us to be successful, we're all going to have to get on the same page. But uh, Zub specifically – you know, he just got to get better with his hands. That was a not, that was a conversation we spoke to. I'm a willing passer, and he knows that. Um, and so, for him to be successful and get a lot of easy looks, we're going to have to get better and get on the same page with that. Other than that, I look forward to growing with. 